It's a welcome sight. Cars travelling on State Highway 1 over the Brindewins in both directions for the first time since Cyclone Gabrielle. What you'll see coming through uh, the Brindewin Hills is a number of sites that are still yet to have major earthworks carried out on them, um, but we want to make sure that the travelling public have got access uh, to Northland over that Easter period. Another of our key routes in the North Island, State Highway 5 between Napier and Taupo, is also now open to all traffic. So although a huge amount of work's been done, the road is still damaged and it's only safe to travel at the posted speed limits, especially as traffic increases in the lead up to Easter and the school holidays. So it will look and feel very different to what you've seen before. You may see slips, you'll see a lot of traffic management. Make sure you're watching the journey planner and understand what the weather's doing on the day that you want to travel. It's a similar story on State Highway 2 between Gisborne and Oportiki. Although the roads reopened, there's still work going on to make it safer. We've opened the road, but now we can't leave it like that. We've got to actually make it safe for them. So we've got to stabilise everything, get rid of the loose stuff up there. You don't want anything falling on the vehicles. Further south, State Highway 2 between Wairoa and Bayview remains closed. This road is still significantly damaged, with many slips to fix and a huge amount of debris to be cleared. Initial works to build a Bailey Bridge across Waikari Gorge are underway. Really keen to get into Waikiri Gorge, just to open a state highway. It's cool to open up local roads and communities, but to open up a state highway is another cool challenge. But it's not the only Bailey Bridge being built on the state highway network. Preliminary works have started to build a replacement across the Hikawai River on State Highway 35. It's not till you stand here and seeing the size of those beams that you realise just how large this bridge is. It's going to take around about eight weeks. We've started working with uh, Mana Whenua, making sure that we are partnering, making sure that we know where we need to be and what we need to be doing for this community. Permanent repairs are underway on the west coast of the island too. It's hoped State Highway 23 near Raglan will be able to reopen in May, with the underslip there being repaired using a geosynthetically reinforced retaining wall. May will also be when we have a solution for repairing the massive slip on State Highway 25A in the Coromandel, with our teams currently analysing soil samples collected from borehole testing that will help shape the best way forward. One of the things we are considering is what we can do in winter. Um, if you do have a look around, you can see that a lot of the material we're finding is kind of clay stuff. And so when water hits that, it goes very much like plasticine and gets very sticky. That's a consideration. On the other side of the Coromandel, detailed design work is almost complete on the repairs for the underslip at State Highway 25. Work is due to start immediately after Easter, but the road will need to be closed periodically. So if you're driving past our crews, no matter where they are on the network, please take care. Road conditions are inconsistent and traffic management is in place for their safety and yours.